Hi Facebook, it is Emma Davis here. I am doing my 30 days live uh, with Dr. Emma Davis. I am a veterinarian and I am a career coach and I am a business coach and I'm doing 30 days live as part of a um, challenge with my business coach. And um, yeah, so today I thought I have to read it, uh, talk about pacing yourself in a career as a high achieving female. And this has come about because I've just had a beautiful chat and made a great um, interview video with an amazing lady, Kay, in the UK. And Kay and I share so many things in common. We're both coaches. We both uh, get a lot out of um, helping other people. And um, she's had um, a career. Uh, well, you have to watch the interview. She's had a great career. But we just had the thing in common that we just worked 110%. And we worked at a pace that was unsustainable over the long term. And so we were sharing a discussion around this and around how as women and as high achieving women, um, we both know lots of people who have done this. And um, yeah, so for my live today, I thought I'll speak to you guys that are running around with a sense of urgency and a sense that you have to work harder than other people. Okay, so if you have an internal feeling that you have to work harder than other people, then I can relate to that totally. And that was how I spent most of my um, life. And so there's a few things that drives that feeling. And so some think it's like um, soul inadequacy and low self-esteem and stuff like that. And there might be a component um, of that but more likely as a high achieving person you have a drive to keep moving forward and um, people that are really intelligent often feel less than and that was really a relief to me hello how are you going um, if you're dialing in later just um, hashtag replay and tell me where you're dialing in from and if you're watching live then welcome and just send me lots of likes and, and love and that'd be great and um, say hi to me in the comments that'd be great so yeah speaking today about pacing yourself in a career as a high achieving, high achieving female and so there's this sense of urgency in the sense of um, needing to do more and what we spoke about with Kay is that um, if you don't learn how to pace yourself and put some self boundaries on the speed at which you work, then you can drive yourself into the ground. And Kay's, um, you'll hear in her story, but she's um, has a serious um, cancer and um, she very much relates this back to just working nonstop for most of her life. Okay, so what gives us this sense of needing to achieve more and to do more and to work harder than others? So part of it is being female, Part of it is the personality type that um, we were born with. Part of it is being a high achiever. And part of it is cultural because we in Western society um, believe that women should be 100% at work when they're at work, um, like give 100% of themselves and then give 100% of themselves in family as well. And neither of the two until recent years um, you weren't really allowed to be both. You had to um, be both and be separate in both, but not um, let work know, you know, work like you had no children and be at home and present for the kids like you have no work. And it's a really difficult um, line. Hi, guys. It's a really difficult line to walk and um, it's very easy to get out of balance in that space and to look after everybody else and work, um, your workplace as well. Um, without looking after yourself. And Kay and I were just talking about the importance of pacing yourself. And that, um, well, both of us had felt um, frustrated at times in different workplaces when we saw people working at a slower pace or what seemed to be a slower pace. And that sense of frustration that, hang on, why am I bearing the whole world on my shoulders and this person over here is cruising away and getting paid the same or uh, more, maybe if they're male sometimes, 
and um, doesn't seem to have this sense of urgency around their work. And it's really frustrating to be in that space. But it's really important to realise that you are in control of that feeling and you're in control of the way that you show up at work and you are in control of um, the thoughts that you have around different scenarios and you're actually in control of the pace that you can work. If it's driven from a sense of inadequacy, then you need to check on that and you need to get some help with that and you need to do the work that um, and understand that about yourself and actually just rationalize that in an external environment don't do that in work <laughs> but learn about yourself um, more in that space understand that though as a high achiever you will always want to do more and you will always want to step up so um, people come to me and I've felt this the same way is that when is enough enough shouldn't I be contented by now and in high achieving people the thing that makes them high achieving is that there is a drive to keep succeeding okay and they keep drive to keep growing and and that's a perfectly good and natural thing and the trick is though to learn to do it at a pace that is comfortable and a pace that you can look after yourself and a pace where you enjoy life at the same time and Kay and I talked about that um, you know she'd forgotten to do joy a lot of the time and that's definitely can be the case um, if you're just all about work and all about um, succeeding and at any cost then there's an imbalance there um, that you'll burn out eventually or um, get sick and yeah so just speaking to those people today so some tips for um, how to create pace in your world is to take some time to actually um, get in touch with your personal values and understand um, what they are okay so if your highest values is family and you're a woman who is now 38 and has had a successful career for 15 16 years she's been working hard at and but actually you know work and family are right up there on your values list and you're not giving any, any attention to family then you need to get that in balance before it's too late and I've um, met a number of people and nearly in my own situation my drive to succeed at work and my drive to um, uh, yeah just please people at work and please you know myself through my identity at work um, nearly lost me the opportunity to be a mum and that's quite a tragedy so really think about your values now and check in with them and if it is family then you're going to need to prioritize that um, I'm not going to give you advice on how to prioritize that but you need to set your life up so that that can happen and you've got space in that um, in your life for family to happen okay um, so get in touch with your values um, know why you're working so hard like know what you're working towards and know that you've got time so you can do that by setting a 10-year goal and know where you want to be in 10 years time and then understand that people often um, overestimate what we can get done in one year and we totally underestimate what we can get done in 10 years so we front load everything and we put so much pressure on ourselves that we've got to get it done now and we've got to get it done this year and it's all going to happen this year to be anywhere near achieving our 10-year goal but in fact we've got time apart from family maybe you don't have time for family so maybe get on to that bit now sorry um, <laughs> but for the career we've got time okay so um, yes you want to be um, in this amazing position and a, a professor or a, um, a specialist or a, um, international consultant or whatever you, you want to be in 10 years time but you don't have to do it all in this 12 months okay it's better to work strategically and work smarter than it is to just work plain harder okay so um, so have a long-term goal um, pace yourself so that you're not front loading it all into the first year and then be quite strategic about it and say yes to some things and say no to some things and because not everything um, that would be um, available to take your attention is going to get you to your 10-year goal and so the um, challenge is to pace yourself by deflecting some things yes I might be able to help that person but it's actually not going to help me get to where I need to be and you have to look after yourself first and foremost and preserve your energy so that you can show up as the best you every day 
you can um, pace yourself and be kind to yourself. So work hard when you're at work, but only work eight hours a day. Sorry, vets, I know that a lot of you in practice for longer than that, but maybe you should just look at reducing that somehow. Um, and then rest and then, you know, reset, recharge, look after your body and, and go again. Okay, so it's all about pace. Um, it's not about a race to the top. You will get there in the end. Um, you have to have a long-term goal at these things and you've got to do it sustainably so that um, you're not, you know, rushing through and burning out, working at 140% at, at the expense of your health and your chance to be a mum if that's on your value list. Okay, look out for the um, interview with uh, Kay Irvin, vet coach. She, we just had a great chat and definitely helped me and helped me because it reflected me back to me. And um, yeah, so if you're ever wanting to know where you're up to, um, consider getting a coach. That's a really good way to help you move through change or to just help you get in touch with your values and make sure that you have a clear 10 year goal and that you know what you're working towards. And yeah, so Kay and I are both coaches and other ones um, around the place, some great coaches out there. And yeah, if you're interested in knowing more, then just type yes and or hi and ask for some information or there's a link as well you can book in a time if you want to talk about your career today how you're going and if you feel that there's a sense of um, more or you're after more in your career or they actually you know feel a great sense of imbalance and that you're not um, living according to your values or you know you're a lady who's about to uh, who thought she'd always have kids and is about to um, you know, miss out on that through just giving everything to work, then, you know, reach out to me or another coach and we can help you work through um, rebalancing your life and um, working out your values and how you can live in accordance with them and, and um, make sure that you get everything out of your life that you desire. Okay, guys, love your veterinary career. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Night.